I got a new mouse mat parking lot in the house. And this one is actually pretty cool. It's also pretty big. Well, if I compare it with the other mouse pad parking lots I have, uh, let's have a closer look. So here we have a wide shot and you see there is plenty of parking space. And I also like the that they have a parking lot right here. And then over there is something what looks like a street. And here we also got a street and here a sidewalk. There are some more parking spots and some more parking spots over there. Let's have a closer look. You see there are also enough uh, details here on the sidewalk. Uh, what is the brand? Tomsk, Tomsk, I believe. Here we've got some uh, letters, XO, SGT. And here we got Ford, Pit. Maybe something from uh, fire trucks, ambulance, I don't know. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a sneak preview right here, right here and over there. So yeah, I think this is a really cool parking lot. We got even a place for bicycles right here in a green and here also a bicycle lane. And the price is around 15, 17 euro dollar. Mm. Another sneak preview right here. Looks pretty cool. And here also some pop race review is coming. Do I have more mouse mat parking lots? Yes, I do. Let's make some space. I've got this one right here that I got recently from, I believe, Chuck from uh, Dykus Media Network. And I'm really happy with it. It's uh, really cool. There is a logo right here. I forgot maybe Dykus Breakdown, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is a really cool mouse bed parking lot too. This one I have for a long time. And it's also pretty cool with the oil spots and the drift marks here. Um, only downside, these parking lots here on the side are a little bit small, but the ones in the middle are uh, big enough. And these are all pretty big here. This is a mid red car and it fits in perfect. Do I have more? Yes, I've got these two right here. Uh, only downside for me, there are some Chinese signs, but I can live with that. There is some uh, parking spot for motorbikes. And I like that there is a road that goes like this. So here are also plenty of parking spots. Uh, handicapped parking spot, also really, really important. What's here? Uh, nothing here. And that's the same brand, by the way. This one also from Tomsk. Okay, do I have more? Yes. We need to go upstairs. Hey, what's that back? Ah, uh, plenty of diecast here. Some Mercedes for wheel swap. Got some. Oh. Yep, that's all for later. Even some Lego. Oh, everything is ready for dinner. I made some soup. Wow. Kitchen, there we go. Upstairs to the diecast room. Ghostbuster at Movies Bar. Godzilla in the corner. The boxes are still here because, oh man, look at those boxes. They're awesome and Godzilla, crazy cool. I'm so glad I have this Godzilla. But we're here for a parking lot. I have another one right here. This is also a big one, but this is, yeah, photo paper material. I bought this one on eBay. It is actually an English parking spot. How do you know? Well, we're driving on the right side, as it's supposed to be. English, they drive on the left, and there you go. And you have to go, hey. So now you know, it's an English, so it has to go like this, see? 
It doesn't matter, it's really cool and handy and it's also uh, pretty big. See, there is, so there is some grass. It's really simple. Grass on the side. Some oil spots here in the middle. And the side. Yeah. Do I have another one? Yes. I also have one here from uh, Mini GT. <laughs> Can't see a lot because it's all stuffed with uh, cars. But I think most of you will know this one. Here it says slow down. Five mile per hour. So yeah, that's it. Those are the Mousemet parking lots I got. Yeah, I also got these ones, but this is more like a diorama. Okay, thanks for watching. Short video. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.